congenital diaphragmatic hernia is commonly diagnosed at the routine 20 week scan and sometimes as early as the 12 week routine scan the baby which we will be seeing is diagnosed at 1 month of age and the reason being there was no routine medical checkups during antenatal period the baby was home delivered so let's see this interesting case and dig into a bit more in detail what congenital diaphragmatic hernia is a 1 month old male child weighing 2.5 kilos presented with a complaint of fast breathing since day 8 of life and fever for one day whenever we see a baby with fast breathing and fever the first thing to come to mind is respiratory tract condition on examination the baby is lying on the couch is pink but is having severe respiratory distress baby is having tachypnea subcostal retractions intercostal retractions and suprasternal recessions on auscultation the sounds are absent on the left side and hard sounds are audible on the right side the abdomen of this baby feels less full on palpation putting findings of history and examination together a clinical diagnosis of congenital diaphragmatic hernia is made and to confirm the diagnosis a chest x-ray is ordered on chest x-ray the trachea is shifted to the right side heart is pushed over to the right side and bowel shadows are visible in the left hemithorax so this confirmed our diagnosis of congenital diaphragmatic hernia and our baby is having left posterior octalic hernia now let's go through some important points that we need to know in congenital diaphragmatic hernia so the question is what is congenital diaphragmatic hernia congenital diaphragmatic hernia is a congenital defect in the diaphragm that allows herniation of abdominal viscera into the thorax what are the types of congenital diaphragmatic hernia first one is posterior lateral boctilac hernia it is most common present on the left side and allows herniation of both small and large intestine as well as intra abdominal solid organs into the thoracic cavity second one is anterior morgagni hernia which is present behind the sternum it is not common and carries poor prognosis as compared to boctilac hernia how should this baby be managed the first thing to keep in mind is that this is a pediatric emergency and the baby is immediately transferred to the pediatric surgical center while taking care of airway breathing and circulation the definitive treatment is open surgical repair of the diaphragmatic defect but is usually delayed until physiologic stability has been achieved finally whenever you see a child with congenital anomaly the rule is look for anomalies in other parts of the body and here other areas involved are principally cardiovascular genital urinary and gastrointestinal systems that's all for now in this video if you have any queries or concerns then do post in the comment section below if you haven't liked or shared yet then do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you